So today, I actually have something pretty special to show all of you. Over the past few weeks and months, and even about a year now, I have been showing you work in progress pictures for Fallout the Capital Wasteland. If you guys haven't really been following this, more or less, what this is, is a mod aimed to bring Fallout 3 into Fallout 4. This is largely going to be a fan project made by a group of modders that are kind of just doing this in their free time for fun. I'll also have links to all of their social media down below, and... Today, what I have to show you is a culmination of a lot of the work that has been posted over the past week or so. A lot of the images I'm showing you, especially some of those in the background right now, are taken from their Discord. They've been posting a lot of cool stuff on there. There's a whole discussion about Fallout things in general and things specific to this mod. I'll definitely join if you guys haven't already. I mean, it's a cool place to kind of keep up to date with the happenings and things like that. The first image set is largely just some of the general screenshots, but then we also have some very specific locations as well as using some of the different ENBs that will be available with this mod to give the game that green tint that we know and love or hate from Fallout 3. And then finally, even some further images of a scrapyard. This one looks really cool. I feel like it's really capturing the same Fallout 3 aesthetic, but actually bringing it into Fallout 4's engine, giving it a mighty big facelift. Those are really cool and look great, but the thing I'm really excited to show you today is actually some work in progress gameplay. This is going to be pre-alpha gameplay of them actually doing the quest Wasteland Survival Guide. This of course being one of the early quests in the game, it's given to you by Moria Brown, and more or less you have to go find miscellaneous things around the commonwealth for her survival guide that she is working on. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you! I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. So the reason this is so cool is because it's really just a player playing this mod in the Fallout 4 engine and you kind of just naturally see the flow of things. You talk to the NPC, get your quest assignment, and then go and start begin doing that quest. This isn't something we've really seen so far, we've largely seen screenshots and very small snippets of landscape in gameplay. But this time it's actually fully functioning NPCs with voicing and things like that. It's also important to note that this is actually a fairly old video, it was only just posted, I will also have a link to the full video down below, but it's recorded on the earlier part of December and since then some updates have been made so not everything is final. The full video itself is 5 minutes and 40 seconds long but I gotta say this looks amazing. We've seen a lot of work in progress mods coming forward and just doing different things over the past few months and even year but I feel like this is one of the first times I'm truly getting excited for this. It seems like they have serious progress made and it's one of the first times you're seeing a quest from a previous Fallout game making its way into Fallout's engine. I personally think this looks amazing and I really just feel like the work they've been doing on this mod is really showing here. That's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. It's a fairly short one, but I largely just wanted to keep you guys up to date with the happenings of Fallout 3 in Fallout 4, otherwise known as Fallout 4, the Capital Wasteland Project, and really just give a shout out to this video. It's not getting a ton of attention right now, and I feel like it deserves way more of it. As always, again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you guys all next time. Later.